I'm back with another one. Really wonderful book review for you guys, Play Long by Liz Tom Ford. Before we get into the summary and my thoughts, let's talk about the tropes in this book. The most important part, he falls first and hard. He falls so hard. Marriage of convenience, workplace romance, golden retriever and black cat energy, sports romance, baseball specifically, and a player slash not coach dynamic. It's like a player and his athletic trainer. <laughs> Trigger warnings will be linked in the description below. I don't like to say them because some people think it's spoiling. You guys. This freaking book. This freaking book. You guys are going to be hearing a lot more of this book from me this year, so just keep that in mind. Play Long by Liz Tom Ford is an adult contemporary sports romance novel. Emphasis on the adult, it is 18 and up. Isaiah Rhodes is a professional baseball player in Chicago, and Kennedy Kay is a sports medicine doctor who works on his team. Due to a workplace drama, a crappy boss, some tequila, and a need for revenge, Kennedy stumbles into a marriage with Isaiah. This book is a part of a series. This is book four in the Windy City series, and I have fallen head over heels for Liz Tom Ford's writing. She's an auto buy author for me now, and you don't have to read these books to understand this one. So you can read this one completely separate, but I absolutely recommend reading all of them just so you get a sense of the world and the characters. Those characters are brought up often in this one, so it's kind of nice to have a background. Let's just get right into the characters because honestly that's what Liz Tom Ford does best is her characters. First Isaiah, I have to talk about him first because he he was the reason I loved this book so much, but he is a hopeless romantic with a massive crush on his athletic trainer, Kennedy. He's really laid back, no rules kind of guy and super charismatic and like drop everything to help out a friend. Very golden retriever. But our guy Isaiah does have a touch of anxiety and you see that trickled throughout the whole book. But honestly, his character development with his anxiety was spot on. And he's always been the guy to put a smile on everyone else's face, even when he's having a bad day. So he kind of has this, this internal conflict of wanting to show his bad days to people, but feeling like he can't because that's not who he is. He's known as the like spunky, happy kind of guy. Then we have Kennedy, who is very type A and a little uptight, but super, super underestimated and underpaid in her current job position. Kennedy definitely lacks some spontaneity in her life and that's where Isaiah kind of comes in and is helping her try new things and do things out of her comfort zone. Her past romantic relationships and family relationships have kind of left her cold is what she likes to call herself. And I do have to admit, Kennedy at times annoyed me just a little bit because of her type A personality, but that's really hypocritical of me because she did remind me a lot of myself in some ways. So maybe that's telling me something. <laughs> I should maybe work on my spontaneity. But she did annoy me a tad bit in the beginning because she was a little blind to Isaiah's kind of puppy love for her and I just wanted her to notice him. Honestly, just the way you feel for Isaiah and his anxiety and things that he's going through and then how Kennedy really helps him overachieve that anxiety and kind of help him through that. While on the other hand, Kennedy being kind of closed off and having really closed off relationships in the, her past, Isaiah really helps open her up and kind of like you see Kennedy blossom but then you see Isaiah become more of an open book when he wasn't before like it the way Liz Tom Ford meshes these two characters together it's not just the chemistry between them and the tension and the flirtiness it's so much more than that because they're diving deep into their personal issues and Liz does it so good. I genuinely think by page 10, there's one part that I tabbed, I think it was page 10 or 12, I was already tearing up for Isaiah because it's just so instant the way she makes you feel for these people. I feel like I've known them my whole life. Let's talk about the smut really quick because you guys know I love some smut and this book had one chapter specifically where they didn't even put the P in the V and it was still the best smut, like top three smutty scenes. It was incredible and it was all foreplay. So, and it was like 15 pages, like it was so worth it. I think it was a whole chapter, either 18 or 19, somewhere in there, if you guys wanna know the specific chapter, but wow, so in love with the way she wrote smut in this one and it wasn't overdone. There were only a few smutty scenes. There weren't a lot, maybe two or three and it, each one was perfectly executed. Now, as you guys can probably tell my thoughts on the book, I gave this book five stars. 
you just have to read it yourself. It's also a shorter book of hers. Like it wasn't that long. It took me a day to read, a day and a half. I cruised through this book. You're just sucked right in at the very beginning of her books and there's really no putting it down once you start. I did tab and highlight the heck out of this book. If you haven't read the Windy City series yet and you're planning to, this is your sign to pick it up right now. I had to rank them. I would say The Right Move, Play Along, Mile High, and then Caught Up. Play Along by Liz Town Ford. How badly do you want to read this book? Comment down below. I will see you guys in the next video.